Hello, I'm Paul Winchell, and you're at Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at the 1938 classic Warner Brothers, again Michael Curtiz picture, Angels with Dirty Faces. This is the Jimmy Cagney, Pat O'Brien movie that has inspired, I think, 83,000 parodies. It's like Stagecoach, the cliches start here. But this is a really good movie. Angels with Dirty Faces comes after Samuel Goldwyn's production of Dead End. Here's real footage of a slum in Manhattan. Um, Dead End was this very important Broadway show where they had a dock and a set and it was a big hit and there were a group of very young kids literally drafted off the streets who became known as the Dead End Kids or to us, <laughs> the Bowery Boys later when they were in their 40s and 50s playing teenagers. In this movie, uh, they are, for the first time, shown to us as something other than the kids from Dead End. Uh, Sam Goldwyn had brought them to L.A., Jack Warner scooped them up. This is a serious picture. Hunts Hall, Leo Gorsi, those guys in this one are playing it straight. Cagney, again, is a vicious criminal, and these kids look up to him. Pat O'Brien is his boyhood friend, who's now a priest, of course. It's good and evil. The wonderful thing about James Cagney is, who, see, he calls them the dead-end kids. This is officially where they became sort of an entity other than the performances they were doing in... Uh, Dead end. <laughs> That's kind of odd. I just realized they took the title of the picture. Anyway, Cagney shapes these kids up. They adore him. They look up to him. Anne Sheridan, the oomph girl. That's her role in the movie. She brings oomph to the movie. Uh, Pat O'Brien doesn't care. Anyway, in this picture, these boys, these juvenile delinquents, look up to Cagney and this gangster as a role model. He is eventually captured and defiant. Uh, he won't crawl, he won't quit, and the boys admire it. And as a favor, there's Bogart in kind of a small role, a lawyer. It's interesting. But in this picture, Cagney, as a favor to O'Brien, does the right thing. And when he's taken to the electric chair, George Bancroft, now here's a big star no one remembers, wonderful actor. Anyway, when he's taken to the electric chair, he performs, he pretends he's frightened, he turns yellow, and the kids lose all respect for him. It's uh, a corny, melodramatic picture, beautifully directed, look at that shot. Really nicely lit, it's classic Warner Brothers, gangster noir, Michael Curtiz, the head of his game. It's a good movie, you won't get me suckers. This is uh, come out, oh look, it's Perry White. Anyway, they get him and he's killed at the end, but he goes out a hero. Rocky, what are you doing up here? Go on, get out of here, beat it! What's the matter with you? Want to get your skull full of lead? I thought you were smart as trying to stick your kids in a place like this. I couldn't stand by and watch him shoot you down. Rocky. I love these guys. This is another one of those movies they don't make anymore. Angels with Dirty Faces, a first national picture. Mm -hmm.